Hey guys, I am coming on today to do um, a healthy holidays oils class. Um, since I know the holidays can be a time when we contract those flu and colds and it's even circulated around my house. So um, I'm gonna show you the key tools I use to help pump it out of our system and you know just rock better health throughout the holidays, especially um, since the seasonal changes can cause that to happen or toddlers with a lot of germs. So um, first of all, I just wanna start by um, letting you know what it is I do and who I am. So obviously if you're friends with me on Facebook, you know that I'm Char. Um, and what I like to do is help teach people how to use um, essential oils as a key tool to really up-level their health and just live in a more natural and holistic way. So if that resonates with you, please feel free to contact me after this and um, I'd love to chat more with you about your health goals and what you're looking, looking to accomplish, especially as we lead into that new year and we do take on these, these goals, which is honestly what helped me get to this new style of what I'm doing to help others um, using essential oils. So it, last year, January at this time, I was considering what I could do to um, just create a better level of health for me and my family and that's when the oils came in. So today I'm going to share with you some of the top ones for keeping healthy, not even just through the holidays, but through the whole year. Obviously more emphasis now because we are, you know, getting this nasty build up in our systems and feeling not 100%. So um, <clears throat> even me today, I probably at like 96%, but I'm not quite at 100 yet. So obviously I'm using the oils to support me through it. So first off, I'm just gonna start with what essential oils are, and then we'll get into um, the ways that you can participate in this online style class and win a giveaway, okay? So essential oils are volatile aromatic compounds, and they come from things like the seeds, the stems, the roots, the barks, and the flowers of plants. So what they're done, or what's done to them is they are distilled down, and this is what we know as an essential oil, okay? So what is so beneficial and why plants have these essential oils in them is it's pretty much like the immune system and what keeps the, the plant healthy and strong. Hey, Sarah. So, um, <clears throat> so essential oils in the plant are in the plants and what keep them really strong and they help ward off predators. They help with things with pollination. And, um, if you were to zoom in on a plant, you would see that these essential oils exist on the underside of say a peppermint leaf and that's where it exists. So it, it's, it's, it's protective system there. And when you extract the essential oil from a plant, it's actually 50 to 70 times more potent than the whole plant itself. So really powerful key tools for helping us live a more natural and holistic lifestyle. So um, the only thing with essential oils is they aren't created equally, which is kind of a bummer, right? So I know m many of you that maybe are just starting out and learning more about essential oils, think to go to your local health food store or um, various stores around. They are popping up everywhere so if you see essential oils on shelves and you know at the mall especially in Canada I know there's one brand there um, just know that all essential oils aren't created equally which means that there's there's not a regulated industry for them yet so we can pretty much um, get an oil and not really know what's in the bottle or what's on the label is stating what is in the bottle so it's kind of scary when you think about that and you are using these for your health so if you are really looking to um, use them to benefit your health and use them in a therapeutic way, you want to make sure you're choosing a quality source. So this is why I decided to partner with doTERRA um, because they go through outside testing of their oils because um, purity and potency are really important to them. Making sure you get what you pay for and what is in the bottle. So what, what it says on the label is in the bottle. So that's really important, right? So they source from around the world where plants grow indigenously. So this will create a really therapeutic grade oil, okay? So if you are getting lavender to help with relaxation, you want to make sure that you're actually getting an oil that isn't pumped full of synthetics and fillers because that's not going to result um, give you the result you want. So if you are using lavender for relaxation and it has all these synthetics, it won't it won't get you what you're looking for, right? So that's why I stress the importance of quality. So do your research and align with the company you believe in. Mine is DoTerra, and that's what I'm here to educate you guys on. Hey, Rebecca. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to show you quickly the three ways you can use the oils. Or not show you, but tell you. Okay, so first off, aromatically, it's probably what we most commonly associate with essential oils, right? So that's as simple as taking off the lid, giving it a smell, um, putting it in a diffuser so it can pump through your home. I have my diffuser just on the floor behind me right now. Um, 
because the scent, your power of your, or your sense of smell is a very powerful scent, okay? So don't discount um, just simply smelling an oil out of a bottle or putting a drop in your hands and rubbing together and taking a deep inhale. Oh, hey, Em, so good to have you on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> So scent is very powerful. So that's one of the ways that you can benefit from the oils. And it's obviously a more easy way because you can just take the lid off a bottle and take a, take a whiff of it, right? So that's number one. Number two way to use them is topically. So using on the skin. So if you, if it, you do have skin sensitivities or you're, you have a young child or you're, you, or you're older, you might want to dilute it down with a carrier oil. I didn't bring mine in here, but you could use fractionated coconut oil so it doesn't solidify. It's a coconut oil that doesn't solidify when it hits cooler temps um, and it it's more shelf stable. Or you could use a jojoba, you could use a sweet almond oil, you could even use olive oil. So just diluting the essential oil down because remember they are so powerful and potent. If you do think that you are going to have a reaction, you can dilute it down. It doesn't change the effectiveness of the oil. It just creates a larger surface area and it makes your, your oils last longer because you're getting one drop and then you're creating this larger volume, right? So using topically on um, the skin when you have a, an issue or um, putting on the bottoms of your feet because you have the largest pores there so it gets directly into your bloodstream within your system or in your system within a couple of minutes or um, simply putting it on the back of your neck, your temples, um, wherever you have something that you want to you wanna help, right? Or across the heart, I do a lot of oils there too. So that's the second way to use the oils. And the third way, apply specifically to doTERRA, is taking internally. So this is up for... Um, personal debate whether you want to or not. I am completely okay with taking my oils internally. I do it a lot with oils like lemon. I like to do a drop of lemon in my water to start my day. Um, Cause it, taking internally can really help with your, your immune support and um, <clears throat> your, your moods and how your body works. So I, I love taking oils internally, but just remember that you're using a brand that is very pure, potent and therapeutic, okay? So doTERRA is that, and not all oils can be taken internally, so just knowing which ones you can take internally and which ones you can't. So those are the three ways. Now I'm gonna quickly tell you how you can enter the giveaway for attending live today. So I'm going to chat about some of the oils that can really help you keep healthy throughout the holidays. That's a, that's a lot of anxious in one sentence. Um, and then what I would love for you to do is in the comments, comment below with some of the ways that you could really use these oils to either increase your health or help you or support you in, what, in whatever way. So for whatever comment you put, with the oil that will help support you, we'll get entered into a draw to win this bottle of Wild Orange, okay? So Wild Orange is a beautiful uplifting oil. It's one you can add a drop to your water in. Um, it's not one I'm gonna be chatting about mainly, but it is a really beneficial oil to have too, and it smells fabulous. So again, commenting below, I'll kind of remind you throughout um, as we chat about the oils, okay? So commenting below with um, how that oil could support you in your health or how it could benefit you or any of your health concerns that you think that oil would help address, okay? So first up, <clears throat> we are gonna chat about peppermint, okay? So peppermint is what I love starting a class with. I know we can't do it because we're doing an online format today, but it's so powerful. So just taking the lid off this bottle is, it just hits your, your nose and it can actually cause your eyes to water if you are very sensitive to um, sense of smell because remember, these are very potent. So one drop of peppermint essential oil is equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint too, just to put into perspective, how powerful these these are so going with the whole holiday mode of uh, using the oils in your life <clears throat> any head tension so i was really feeling tension last saturday as my as this whole um flow of the of the sickness came on to me so peppermint was my go-to i was putting it on my temples and down the back of my neck so when you are feeling sinus pressure or even just head tension migraines headaches um this is a good oil to help with that okay so putting it on the temples and um, down the back of the neck <clears throat> it's also really good for pick me up so i know we can get run down during the holidays um so peppermint is a great way to have a natural pick me up um, when you're feeling like you're, you're, you're lacking in energy or, or any of that. So what I like to do with that, I'll do it right now for you, is taking the oil and just putting, oh, this one might be an empty bottle. Oh, there we go. A drop in my hands, rubbing together, taking a deep inhale, and then rubbing any extras on the back of my neck, okay? So powerful if you're just feeling kind of blah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so awesome that it's been helping you. I think having peppermint on hand is never a bad thing. So even starting your day with peppermint, so 
even keeping it beside your bed. So I wear contacts, but once I put my contacts in, I'll, I'll take a drop of peppermint and just put it on my temples to just get me, you know, going for the day. So really powerful that way. If you are experiencing any, um, sensations of cold and flu and sickness, um, and you have a fever, you're running a fever, you can use peppermint to cool the body down. So when you are getting into those higher temps, um, you can do it down your spine. So again, diluting down if you have skin sensitivities, um, diluting and putting it on the spine. So I've done that with my daughter when she's when she spiked a fever. Um, again, putting it on the back of the neck and um, the bottoms of the feet to help get into the system. Yeah, I love that too. <laughs> That's so funny. I know there's a lag in um, Facebook, so <laughs> I think it's one or two minutes behind, but Sarah, me and you are on the, the same, wa same wavelength. So very powerful that way. <clears throat> and again, over the holidays, when we get into those heavier meals, um, you know, we're eating a lot of indulgent foods and all that, it can help with stomach upset. So it could be as simple as putting a drop of peppermint under your tongue, or you could boil some water and um, put a drop in there and drink it as a tea. So really good for that. Any, so any indigestion or, or just digestive health in general, okay? So it can help with that. So peppermint is really effective for that. I, I just got some peppermint on my face because I can feel my skin cooling down there. Um, and it also is very good for respiratory and clear breathing. So right now, you know, when, when you are feeling your system your sinuses, you know, congestion and all that. You could put diluted down across the chest. Um, I even was rolling peppermint down my nose, this diluted version. So I would just put it down my nose. Be careful around the eyes. Um, if, if you did get it in your eyes, you wouldn't want to get it out with a water because water, obviously water and oils repel each other. So it's just going to drive it deeper into the eyes. So you would want to try and get oils out of your eyes with um, a carrier oil. So that'll get it out and clear it out um, better than water. I know our instinct is to grab for water, but always always um, keep that away when dealing with oils in um, your eyes. So yes, so peppermint can help with your airway. So very key for these times of congestion and all that. So next up, I'm gonna talk about On Guard. So On Guard has been my family's lifeline this past week. I mean, it is in my family all the time, and I, I know for a lot of people, it's a, it's a favorite. It's the protective blend. Oh, yes. Yeah, I love peppermint before workouts, too. <coughs> Helped relieve some fluid in my ears, causing vertigo with lavender melaleuca. So good to hear. Okay, so yes, peppermint, honestly, there are so many ways to use it. And that's why I have like four bottles lying around my house. I was looking for it for this this whole um, online class and I grabbed a bottle, but I already had one in this room and then I had one in another room. So yeah, it's, it's a good one to have on hand. So up next is, yeah, On Guard, the protective blend. Very, very um, amazing for keeping your immune system pumped up. So when you think of an oil you wanna turn to when you are starting to feel your system compromised, reach for On Guard, okay? So you wanna be, if you wanna be proactive with it, you can start doing it when you know people around you are getting sick. So whether you um, put it on the bottoms of your feet, you could put a drop or two in an empty veg cap capsule and swallow and take internally just to help ensure that your system stays strong, okay? So those are very key ways. And um, what I wish I would have done pre-sickness, I, I was using it to diffuse, but I was not taking it internally. So one thing that I have been doing lately, lately now is these On Guard beadlets. So what this is, is it's just a drop of the On Guard oil in a beadlet, but it's a quarter of a, of a regular drop that comes out of the bottle. And it's in these little caps that are awesome. Like you can put them in your mouth and pop them. Or what I like to do is I will take this and pop it in my hand and use it as a natural hand sanitizer. So when you're out and about and you don't want to contract the germs going around. Is it okay to drink a drop in H2O every day? I think that's up for personal decision, like your what you decide on, but <clears throat> I would totally do that. Um, for me, I probably wouldn't put it in water just because I'd wanna just get it in me as quick as I can. It's, it's very um, spicy and strong. So I like that's why I like doing the drops or these um, beadlets because I can put it under my tongue and then take a sip of water with it. But I, I would totally say it's fine, especially as if you're being proactive. Um, in preventing getting you know anything that will compromise your system so it's it's really good too for like I said that quick immune boost so taking the the beadlets or um, the oil I also like to be preventative in making a roller bottle blend with it and another oil I'm gonna chat about in a little bit and rolling on the bottoms of our feet so that would be my go-to for my immune booster is taking a pre-diluted version of the oil <clears throat> and rolling it on my feet 
Yeah, it was intense tasting it in water. Yeah, you're like, woo! I took this, I took the beadlet when I woke up the other morning, and it, I think it was a bit too much first thing in the morning, so next time I think I'll have like my glass of water with lemon and then take it. Um, <clears throat> but it is so beneficial. So at least at least keep that in mind as you're, you're, you're fighting through it. Um, okay, so other ways to use On Guard. You can obviously take internally. It helps promote a healthy immune function. It's, um, it supports your body's natural antioxidant defenses. So sorry, I'm just, just making sure I cover all the grounds because there's so much these oils can do, especially as we think about pumping up our system. On Guard's a really key one. Um, so you can diffuse it too. So when our families or my family started getting all this funk in the, the house, I don't even like to use the word sickness. I try to avoid it. So sorry if I'm not using that word. I, I normally tend to say we're not feeling 100%. So when we weren't feeling 100%, I pumped diff or on guard in the diffuser with lemon, um, depending on, I, I did it with Douglas fir because it's very fitting to the season right now. Um, and then some other oils to just really help with keeping our immune system strong and getting it in the air and around our house. Our house. So that would be my second option or my second one for keeping healthy this holiday. And then we come to a really powerful oil and I am shocked that I'm talking about it so soon on and not later on in this because it's not an oil that was my first one to love, but now it's become such a favorite of mine. So oregano, you would think that it's obviously an herb and you're using it in the kitchen, but this comes in so handy when you are fighting off something, okay? I never really knew how powerful this was until I got my first sore throat and I put a drop of this in my water and just gargled with it and spit it out or you could even swallow it. And it's amazing what it can do, okay? So this is what I go to as soon as I feel a tingle in my throat coming on. It's like the only oil I will reach to first. So, <clears throat> or I'll, I'll only reach for it and then the others can come later because I know how effective this is. Um, so it's really good for um, anything you feel coming on. So with this this round of whatever went through my home, I have a pre-diluted pre version of this because you do not want to put this on your skin undiluted. It will burn. It's a spicy hot oil. So it always needs to be diluted down if you are putting topically on the skin. So I have the pre-diluted version of it that's safe for all skin types. It's the Oregano Touch it's called. And I've been putting it on my the bottoms of my feet every day. And if I do feel a sore throat coming on, now that I have the pre-diluted version, I'll roll it on the front of my throat. So that's really effective too because it's localized to the area. And I mean, it's very effective using it in a drop of water, but at least with this, I don't have, you don't have to worry about the burning sensation if you are putting it in water and gargling, because sometimes I can feel it on my lips. So really effective that way. Um, <clears throat> it also helps with um, healthy digestion. So that's really good too. So when you are eating those bigger meals with, with your holidays, you could turn to it for that. I actually love um, getting empty veggie capsules and putting oils in them. So I will do a bunch of oils in a blend to keep immune systems pumped up. So I'll do this, oregano with On Guard and a few others, um, just to another way to pump up the immune system. So a lot of beneficial ways you can use the oils to support you through this cold and flu season. <clears throat> So, and again, you can use it in cooking too. So if you have any holiday dishes that you need where you need a, the herb oregano, you could use a drop of this in place of that. All right, next up I'm going to talk about is Breathe, which is the respiratory blend. It's called Easy Air in Canada. So Breathe is obviously a very beneficial oil for helping open or promote opening of the airways and easy breathing. So it helps with congestion. Um... So it's been a really, it's been a go-to for my family right now too, as we experience these weird coughs. <coughs> I think I just brought that one on too. Um, it helps to minimize the effect of seasonal threats too. So what I love doing with this is either putting it directly on the chest, so pre-diluted down or diluted down with some carrier oil, putting it on the chest, or you could do the, the back too. But I love putting it in the diffuser. So such a nice blend to have at nighttime in the diffuser or throughout the day too. So I love that about it. You could even throw it a few drops in a bath, an Epsom salt bath at the end of a day to help, you know, promote clear airways that way or throw a couple drops in the, the outskirt of your shower so you get that aromatic benefit when you're, when it does steam up and get hot in your shower. So promotes a restful night's sleep too, which is awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, exactly. So I like to use peppermint before a workout but peppermint is one of the oils in breathe and it does it does help open your airway so it can lead Jen to have a really awesome workout right now <laughs> um okay next I'm going to talk about 
lemon. So lemon is a staple in my house. I go through a lot of these bottles and I have a lot of them lying around right now. So lemon is um, very just naturally cleansing and purifying. So it is good to have going in your diffuser or um, in your household cleaners. Green cleaning is a passion of mine. Um, I did do a webinar on it last month if you guys caught it. Um, and lemon is one of the staples I use in my recipes for that, for that or I used in, in the green cleaning webinar. It's really good for coughs too and um, runny noses. So I'll dilute it down if we have runny noses and put it either on the nose or right underneath. And then if you um, are experiencing a cough, you could dilute down, put on your chest. And again, putting a drop in your water. So first first thing when I do what I do when I wake up is I put one to two drops of lemon in my water and drink that. So it just helps <clears throat> promote um, cleansing of the body. So it's really important that way. And, and it helps aid in digestion too. So it is a good thing to have on hand after those holiday meals. And the benefit too is that it promotes a positive mood. So it's very uplifting. So it's great to have all together for the holidays and um, everyday use. So that is um, lemon. And next we are going to chat about Melaleuca. Made all-purpose cleaner with it. That's so awesome. Which brings me to another oil that I use for my all-purpose cleaner. And I think one of M's favorite right now is um, Melaleuca or tea tree in Canada. So um, Melaleuca is a really beneficial oil. It has, it literally does have so many benefits. When you had a ready nose last week, put on the bridge of my nose. I know it's, it's honestly crazy how quick it can work. It's, it, it shocked me that lemon would help with a runny nose, but I, I believe in the oil God. So I, I did it and in success, right? I'm just going to take a sip of water quickly. <coughs> My throat is doing this weird getting dry thing, so just don't want to go into a coughing fit for you guys on here. So Melaleuca, it, um, it's another one that can help promote opening of the airways and breathing, and it really is good for helping with immune function. So it's another one I'll take internally in, a, in an empty capsule <coughs> with um, On Guard and lemon and oregano and one more oil we're going to chat about next, just to help ensure that your immune system stays healthy. Helping your earache so much right now, yes. So Melaleuca is, I know that's not holiday specific, but man, it is so effective for any ear issues. I've mentioned that in, in a previous post on my Facebook wall that um, I was prone to ear infections when I was a kid. So it's really good to have on hand if you do still get them or you have kids that are prone to them um, just to relieve any, any pressure. <coughs> Because it'll help drain the area. So I like putting it there and down the back of my ear. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. <coughs> I'm trying to power through this. So Melaleuca can help against environmental and seasonal threats too. So that's why it's really beneficial. So whether you're going to put it in your diffuser or put on the bottoms of your feet to get into your system, um, whatever way you want to or feel comfortable with um, getting it in or on your body. It's also very effective for the skin, so I love that about it. So when I had when I have blemishes, not when I had, when I have all the time, blemishes, I will just put a drop of Melaleuca right on them. So it's one that you could choose to dilute down if you wanted to, or if not, it's for me it's fine. I don't have any reaction to it, so I'll just put the oil directly on my skin. <coughs> oh man, I'm sorry guys. <coughs> so... <coughs> I also love cleaning with Melaleuca. I use it as my all-purpose cleaner. It's a it's a great oil for that. Um, so a really handy one to have over the holidays and um, just get using it to help bump up this system. So next we're going to talk about Digestin. Here it is. So this is the Digestive Blend and it's called Zengest in Canada. So this one, very good for those big holiday meals when we have... Um, bloating and digestion, you know, just feeling very stuffed. So you could simply use this by putting a drop directly on your stomach and um, letting it go to work. You could add a drop to some hot water and sip it as a tea. Um, it helps if you're feeling any queasiness. So if you are experiencing the sickness or the cold and flu going that way. Um, we did have... <coughs> We did have an episode of throwing up hit us last spring. And although this didn't stop it altogether, I was applying it to my stomach and it helped and it helped me get through it. Okay. So it didn't, it didn't obviously stop it altogether because I think at that point you can't even stop when those, when those things are going through your house, but at least I felt some relief in between episodes. Okay. 
So digest scent, very, very good for the holidays. So if you pop one in your purse and then everyone's feeling bloated after that dinner, just pass it around the table and get everyone to use it. <coughs> so whether you dilute it down or just put a drop directly on the stomach, very, very handy that way. Next, we're going to talk about an oil that is very near and dear to my heart, and especially this month because you can get it for free. So frankincense. This oil is known as the king of the oils. So when you don't know what oil to use, because as you've seen, these oils can do a lot for us, go to frankincense, okay? <coughs> so there are so many benefits to it. I'm not going to go through them all. All hangover. Yes, I had heard that about um, digest scents. So there's a good one too. Um, thanks, Sarah. That's amazing. <coughs> okay, so frankincense. Um, it has so many health benefits. So this is one I also like to take internally to help support healthy cellular function. So it can help at the cellular level and really help um, with bumping up your immune system. So I'll also take this in an empty veggie cap. Or I like to put a drop under my tongue daily to help support um, my moods. So especially with a toddler, you never know what direction they're going to they're gonna go in each day, so I like to just ensure that I'm going to be level if they're if they're not going to or my daughter isn't. So I'll put a drop under my tongue. And it's really good for immune function and response, so that's good to know about it too. It's also very beneficial to the skin, so not that this is holiday related, but I love adding a drop of it to my moisturizer in the morning and then I put it on my face. And then one great thing about frankincense is it really helps with your spirituality or like your zen or your meditation. So I even love that if I put it in my moisturizer and put it on my face, I get little whiffs of it throughout the day. You could also add it to um, across your heart or before you are getting into that prayer, meditation, um, even yoga practice, um, I like rolling it on the bottoms of my feet. So it might be good to just help lessen the feelings of the holiday stress um, that we know can, you know, happen when we're with family. Gotta love them, but it's not always it's not always a peaceful environment. So this might be a good one to turn to just to help support your mood and um, and your overall health as well. So <clears throat> so yes, even adding it to the bottoms of your feet can promote feelings of relaxation and balance to the body. So just really beneficial to the whole system as is. Um, it can cross the blood brain barrier, which is really important because most medications can't. So if you are experiencing anything um, brain wise, it's a really beneficial oil for that. So I love it for the cellular support it adds and just really turning, increasing the, or the cell turnover really helps with that. So really beautifying for the skin, but also really beautifying for um, us internally. So I'll chat at the end about those that maybe are watching this and, and aren't with doTERRA yet or want to learn more, how you can get this for free because it is a, it's an awesome oil and I jumped at the opportunity to get it for free this month. Okay, next up is lavender. Lavender is all things calming. Um, I think that's what people know most mostly about it. So, <clears throat> so it could be good to diffuse just to help if you're feeling anxious, um, when you are going through the holidays. It's also very good for helping open the airways and it's good for um, <clears throat> seasonal allergies and threats. So um, if you are experiencing any of those, again, feeling anxious, um, just helping with a more restful sleep. So if you're you're struggling with that in general or even around the holidays, this would be a good time to um, pump it up. <clears throat> also helps with any skin per imperfections. So if you, uh, if you experience it, anything of that, um, you can apply lavender directly onto the area. It's kind of like your first aid tool in place of a first aid kit, okay? So having lavender for any of those, you know, you cut yourself while carving the, <laughs> I can't even say this because I'm vegan, but your turkey um, <laughs> or cutting those, um, those Brussels sprouts up, there you go. Um, and you cut and you nick your finger, I would go to lavender to just help help um, cover that up or to help heal it. So very, very awesome for, yeah, just helping lessen the, your feelings of your stress and anxiety and all that. Um, and it's just an awesome oil smell. I love it. Helps with migraines too. That's awesome, Em. So I love diffusing it, especially at nighttime with Breathe and um, another oil that's really calming called Cedarwood. Now I'm going to quickly talk about Deep Blue. So Deep Blue is... The soothing blend it comes it's only one that comes in a five mil bottle 
It's very, very beautiful smell. I love it. Um, so you can use it around your workout. So you can proactively use it before a workout or use it after a workout. I love to put it on my knees before a run. Might come in handy for strains and all that. <coughs> Maybe playing too much of a Christmas game um, over the holidays. So just having it on hand to help with any you know tension or muscle aches or any of that. So you applying it at, on location, whether it's you're feeling tense in your shoulders or lower back, really effective for that. You can dilute it down before you apply it and it will help preserve your oil obviously a little bit longer. So um, that's what I love using it for practically before a workout, but if I do, if I am experiencing any um, sore, sore stiffness, so handy for that. So I think I made it through the top 10 oils that are amazing for to have in your home and um, really, really effective for using in all areas of your life. And I just wanted to chat about two more quickly. So one more that I love and I, I feel like will come in handy for the holidays is this blend called Past Tense. So it's the Tension Blend. And this is actually one of the ones I went to when last week and I started getting <coughs> that head tension. So I just felt so much pressure in my head. So this is where this would come in handy. So it's a blend of oils. It has oils like lavender, frankincense, wintergreen, peppermint, marjoram, cilantro, Roman chamomile, basil, and rosemary. So really beautiful oils to just help lessen the tension. So whether you're having sinus tension, oh good, or um, just tension from overthinking, you could just roll it on your temples and um, down the back of your neck. So that's how I love using it. And I love the smell of it, it smells so good. And I find it takes a couple minutes for it to set in. So I don't feel it right now, but give it 10 minutes and you'll really start to feel the icy coolness. So it just really, it's really soothing. So I love it for just helping even calm the emotions. Um, and again, that, that cooling sensation is just amazing. And then the last one I wanna chat about is obviously one that would be good for the holidays, but the specific blend called Holiday Joy. So it's the Holiday Blend. It's so beautiful. I think I have some on my fingers right now. I have been diffusing this every day since I got it. So I have it going in my diffuser right now behind me. I have it going with um, another oil called Cheer. And this oil is so beautiful because it has Siberian fir, wild orange, clove, cinnamon, cassia, Douglas fir, nutmeg, and vanilla. So really beautiful oils for the holidays. So I love diffusing it throughout the day, but it also can promote rest and relaxation. So it would be a good one to diffuse at nighttime and it can even help with head tension. So there you go. It's, it's a beautiful oil and it's actually the freebie for a few more days. If you are ordering through your monthly order, um, with a certain amount, um, I got mine yesterday, my little, my little freebie bottle. So that's really, really awesome too. <clears throat> so again, I love the comments coming in. Um, Commenting on this video will get you entered to win a free bottle of wild orange on why you want to use the oils or what they would be effective for in um, or some of your health concerns with them that they would address. Um, so love seeing them come in. So and wild orange is one I didn't chat about, but it is so beautiful and I will give you a description of ways you, that you can use it. So I just want to quickly talk about the ways you can get started if you are drawn to living this more natural lifestyle and um, want to learn more about how you can do that and how the oils can be really key in that. I encourage you to reach out to me. Um, there are three ways you can purchase. You can purchase through through retail, so that's just paying full pricing. You know, maybe that's for people dipping their toes in um, the oil sand, if you will. Um, and don't really want to take on the membership yet and maybe just select a few oils. I really don't encourage retail sale just or retail purchasing just because it is 25% more than if you did sign up with a wholesale account. So option number two is a wholesale account where you get a discount on the oils and that gets you a year of that discount. So you get 25% off for a year. It's kind of equivalent to Costco. I call it the, the healthy Costco and then your oils and all the other natural health products that you um, you start incorporating into your your more natural and holistic lifestyle get delivered right to your front door. So I love that about it. <clears throat> the third way, and you, this is optional and completely up to you whether you want to do it and you can cancel at any time, is doing a monthly order. So that's the best way to gain the, the, the perks of the oils and getting those free, those free oils each month is through a monthly order called LRP. Um, I can explain more about that if you want to learn more. Um, I'd be happy to chat more with you guys if um, you aren't started with the oils or even for those on my team if you have any questions and um, I'm obviously always here to help you guys. 
Um, so those are the three ways you can get started with the oils. Um, it is a beautiful time this month because like I said, you can get this oil frankincense for free. So this is good on any way you decide to purchase the oils, whether you want to do retail or you want to sign up with a wholesale membership, or you're just, you're on a doTERRA oils team and you're just placing your order. So you can do it any way, as long as it's over a 200 points system volume. So as long as you're over 200 points, you get this for free, which is a $93 retail value. So pretty, pretty awesome that doTERRA does this every December for us. And you can order up to four times of these. So if you just place four 200 orders, you would get four of these for free. So I love that. I'm really seriously considering placing my second one because frankincense is the coveted oil and one that you want to go to and one that I do use daily. So I really hope this was helpful. And again, you can watch the replay. Um, Fast forward through parts where I'm coughing, sorry about that. As we talk about staying healthy for the holidays, I really hope these these um, tips and uses of the oils really did help you. And again, reach out to me if you have any questions and wanna learn more and I'd be happy to chat and get you started on um, this oils journey because it's one that I'm so passionate about and one that I'm here to support you on, okay? Guys, so I, thanks so much for being here and um, I will be coming on live again probably sometime soon to chat more with you guys. Thanks so much for being on, M. So good to have you on here and um, the rest of you too, all right? Have a great day.